Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. The word just said rejoice. So can we give the Lord a great shout of praise? Come on, give him praise for another day. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. We're going to sing some of the songs that our fathers and our grandfathers used to sing. Songs like we've come this far by faith. Will you help us sing it? Come on, help me sing it. Come on, we come this far. Come on. This far by faith. Good evening, everybody. We're back here on the Timmy Radio broadcast of Restoring Souls to Christ Radio Show with your radio host, Pastor Brenda D. Wilson, every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and 7 o'clock Central. And right now, we're going to give the woman of God a hand clap as she teaches us and preaches to us on this evening with Thus Save the Lord God on this midweek fill up. Do you need to be filled up today? Amen. Something to get you along the rest of the week? Amen. Let's get it right now. Come on, everybody. Let's give the woman of God a hand clap of praise. Come on, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Good evening. God bless you. Thank you for joining Restoring Souls to Christ radio broadcast. I am your host for the evening, Pastor Brenda Dowdy from out of Duncanville, Texas. I praise the Lord for another Wednesday night that has blessed us to see. Glory to God. He has blessed us to come together one more time. And I thank God for you tuning in each week. And I pray that you are blessed by the word of God. Before we go any farther in the broadcast, let us say a word of prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, on tonight, God, we come to tell you thank you for your goodness and your mercy. God, we thank you for your forgiveness and your strength. We thank you for your unconditional love, God, and your grace. Glory to God. We thank you for this present time, God. We thank you for letting us see another Wednesday night, God. For we know it was no goodness of our own, but the goodness and mercy of you that have kept us here. In the name of Jesus. So, Lord, as I come before your people one more time, my prayer is that you help me to let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I pray that something will be said, God, that will prick some soul's heart, that they will cry out, what must I do to be saved? Glory to God. I pray that every word that flows from these lips of clay will be approved by you in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I pray that whatever be said on this broadcast on tonight will touch someone, God, that will draw someone closer to you or to bring somebody back to you they have strayed away. And God, I ask that your anointing be upon this entire broadcast, God, from beginning to end. None of me, but all of you, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this service to have your way. Glory to God, to have your way. For I know that if you have your way, it will be done in decent and in order. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. I praise God once again tonight for being in the midst of his people. Glory to God. I pray that the listeners of this broadcast be blessed. I pray that whatever you desire from the Lord, that he will grant it to you. Glory to God. We will be coming tonight from Isaiah, the sixth chapter. Very familiar uh, text of scripture. Glory to God. We know that God is who he said he is. We know that God can do what he says he can do. And he can take you where he want to take you. Glory to God. Beginning at verse 1. Isaiah 6 chapter, beginning at verse 1. Glory to God. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this have touched thy lips, and thine iniquity is taken away, and thy sins purged. Also I hear the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I, send me. Glory to God. I'm going to stop right there. And my thought that dropped in my spirit on tonight to share with you. Are you fit for the master's use? Now, sometime back, I ministered on the same topic. And I think it came from the same uh, book, Glory to God. But this is an update, Glory to God. This is an update. You know how sometimes... Uh, they have breaking news on the TV, glory to God. And they tell you this little bit right now, glory to God. And after a while, they come back with an update because they don't have all the information at one time. So they have to keep investigating and keep searching and, and, and uh, getting what they can so they can update the public about this particular situation. So I, I come to you tonight to ask the question if the question is not for you then i present it to myself are you fit for the master's use glory to god we we see in this scripture glory to god that king Uzziah had died and in I, I'm, I'm i'm believing in my spirit that isaiah was having a vision and in this vision he saw the Lord sitting upon the throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. And as I read that, his train filled the temple, I felt in my heart, in my spirit, that the train was his Holy Ghost, his glory, glory to God. And then it says, above it stood 
the seraphims of the angels. Each one has six wings. With two, he covered his face. And with two, he covered his feet. And with two, he did fly. But one cried out unto another and said, Holy, are you fit for the master's use? Holy, are you fit for the master's use? Holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Glory to God. Are you fit for the master's use? And the post of the door moved at the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. The voice was powerful that spoke these things to the point that it moved the post in the house or in the uh, king's court. Glory to God. And it said the whole earth, not just one spot or one corner, but the whole earth was full of God's glory. Glory to God. And, the, and then once I recognized this was the power and the glory of God, I began to search myself. I began to think about the life that I was living. I began to think about what I had done and all these things came back to me and I asked myself the question are you fit for the master's use glory to God so we see that once Isaiah saw the glory of God he felt conviction in his spirit he said woe is me for I am undone I'm, I'm not saved I'm not living the life that I wanted to be living when I met the Lord. Are you fit for the master's use? He said, I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips. I curse, I talk ugly to people, I say perverse things, and I'm just not fit right now. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Even the crowd that I hang around, they talk ugly. They talk disrespectful. Uh, right at this time, I, I don't feel fit for the master's use. I've been caught in my sins. I've been shown up. The searchlight from heaven have touched my soul and convicted my heart. And am I fit for the master's use? Is there anything that an unclean person such as myself can do for for such a master as this. Glory to God. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. So they let me believe that Isaiah was in the presence of the King. And he realized he was improperly dressed. Huh. He was improperly dressed because he was living in sin and he didn't know that this was going to happen with him. He didn't know that he was going to be in the presence of the Almighty. He didn't know he was not prepared for this because when this began to happen, uh, I'm using a parable, when this began to happen, I picture him hanging out with his boys talking all sort of stuff. He didn't know that he was getting ready to come before the King of Kings, the Lord of Lord. He didn't know. So he said, woe is me. You know? Uh, and in this I got, I pictured in my mind when children or anybody else that was living unsaved, when someone came in their midst, whether it be their mom, their dad, or any grown-up person, when they were talking ugly with their friends or acting out of way, they would say, oh my God, I apologize for the way I'm talking in front of you. Forgive me 
forgive my friends because we have unclean lips. But since I've seen the glory of the King, since I've felt his presence and I've seen his glory around about me, I want to know, can I be made fit for the master's use? Glory to God. Glory to God. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me, said Isaiah, having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my mouth and said, Lo, this have touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin purged. Ah, I've been clean. I've been set free. I've been, de been delivered. I've been made fit for the master's use. Everything that I was doing before, since this experience, I don't want to do again. My mindset has been changed from serving Satan and thinking vulgar things because I want to be fit for the master's use. Glory to God. So I believe that the coal, the live coal that was taken from off the altar represented the power of the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. The power of the Holy Spirit that convicted Isaiah, that convicts us when we have been convicted of our sins. We've heard God's word and we have been convicted in our hearts to want to change from doing what we were doing, from having unclean lips and for hanging out with people with unclean lips and hanging out with people with unclean lives and they don't want to change, but I want to be fit for the master's use. Glory to God. I remember back in the day when they would say that the things I used to do, I don't do no more. The places I used to go, I don't go no more. Glory to God. When the Lord comes into your heart, when he purges you, when he cleanses you of your sins, he makes you fit for his use. And the places you used to go, if you do go back there, it'll be from God. He will be directing you back there to bring some soul out in the name of Jesus. Are you fit for the master's use? I want to be fit for the master's use for such a time as this. Glory to God. Glory to God. And then I, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And because Isaiah had been cleansed from his iniquities and his purged from his sins, he was able to speak up now and say, Here am I, send me. Ah, oh, I've been transformed, I've been redeemed, I've been saved, I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb that I may be fit for the Master's use. No more life as usual. No more hanging with the old crowd. Not because I think I'm better than them, per se, but because I've changed my way of thinking. God has come in and changed my mindset. He's come in and he changed my heart. Where there was hate there, he put love. I want to be fit for the master's use. I want him to be able to look down from glory and say, that's my daughter. That's my son. I can count on them. Are you fit for the master's use? Glory to God. Glory to God. In spite of what we may have done in our past or what we may have done before we tune into this radio broadcast, if we ask God to come into our lives and forgive us of our sins in the name of Jesus who shed his blood for our sins, we can become 
fit for the master's use. Glory to God. So I want to stop right there for a minute and let you know this is the time. Now is the acceptable time. Now is the season. Glory to God. That if you want to cry out to the Lord, this the time is now. Glory to God. He's everywhere, so wherever you are, you can ask him to forgive you of your sin. Come into your heart. Make you a new creature. Glory to God. Then you can say, Lord, let this mind be in me that is also in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. Then you can say, Lord, I want to be used by you. But you got to be cleaned from the inside out. The only way you can be clean, cleansed and fit for the master's use, ask the Lord to come into your heart. As I forestated, cleanse you of your sins. Glory to God. Make you a new creature that you can serve him the balance of your day. Yes, you can be made fit for the master's use that when he calls out for workers in the vineyard, you can say, Lord, here I am, send me. Glory to God. There will be no more shame with the crowd that you hung out with. You can walk with your head held high for the glory of God. A humbleness, not a pridefulness, a humbleness. That I am a living witness that God can save you. That the Lord can come into your heart, deliver you from your sin, and make you a new creature. So that's what I have for you on tonight. I pray something was said that caught your attention. I pray that if you've been playing saved, if you've been acting saved, if You've been acting like you know the Lord. Today is the day of salvation. Let's get it right. Starting with me, and I spread it out to you. Because charity begins at home, and then it spreads abroad. So I can't tell you effectively to do something if I haven't experienced it. Glory to God. Glory to God. He'll make you a new creature. He'll make you a new creature. Old things, his word declares, old things shall pass away. Behold, all things become new. Because he changes you. He transforms you. Glory to God. So be encouraged on tonight. If you're not saved, get saved. If you are saved, stay under the little master's wings. Glory to God under his protection glory to God so in closing Father God in the name of Jesus I thank you on tonight for using these lips of clay to speak what you will have me speak to your people near and far I pray that some soul will cry out what must I do to be saved that I may be fit for the master's use that I won't die and go to a burning hell for eternity glory to God and God, I ask that you bless each one that have listened to this broadcast on tonight. And I thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Glory to God. Thank you once again for tuning in on tonight. I give God glory. I give him honor and I give him praise. I thank God for Pastor Nino Ackridge and the TMA radio broadcast station. I thank him for extending each week a platform that I can bring you what the Lord gives me and pray that you be blessed through it. Glory to God. Play, pray that all things work to good for you in the name of Jesus. I, I would love for you to join us on new Restoration Conference Ministries uh, services during the week if you're available. Glory to God. I believe that you would truly be blessed. Glory to God. Our, our schedule is Monday through Thursday morning at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 
6 a.m. Central Time, we have a Bible study class on our conference line. Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. Eastern, 6 a.m. Central. That number is 508-924-3912. Again, 508-924-3912. That's New Restoration Conference Ministry Bible Study Class. Monday through Thursday morning. Glory to God. Then on Wednesday nights, we're back here on Restoring Souls to Christ radio broadcast on that same conference line. Glory to God. Then Wednesday through Friday mornings at 10, I'm sorry, at 12 noon, we have noonday prayer on this conference line. We would love for you to come and join us, or if you have a prayer request, you can come on and we will pray with you and for you. That's Wednesday through Friday at noon, we have noonday prayer. Glory to God. Then on Thursday nights at 8 p.m., we have our Holy Ghost Praise Party. 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. You're welcome. Invite a friend. Invite a neighbor. Tell somebody that God is still in the rest restoration built business. Glory to God. So that's our schedule. Glory to God. And we also have a Facebook page, New Restoration Conference Ministry Facebook page where the pastor is myself, Pastor Brenda Dowdy. Glory to God. You can go on there and find out our weekly schedule, and we would love to have you come and join us. And until next week, the Lord say the same. Good night, and may God bless you. Amen, amen, and amen. Awesome on tonight. We give God glory and praise and honor for the woman of God bringing us a message on this evening. I pray that you are blessed. I pray that you will. I pray that you receive everything said on this day. And we thank God for our radio host. That was Pastor Brenda D. Wilson out of Duncanville, Texas. Continue to join us every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and 7 o'clock Central. And we hope you all have been blessed again by this radio broadcast every week. Amen. We just thank the Lord for opportunity to share his word, encouragement to his people that somebody want to be saved, somebody want to be healed, somebody want to be set free. We thank you. We love you. And we're coming up at nine o'clock, man to man, talk back to talk show with yours truly, Pastor Nino Ackridge, radio host and co-host Bishop Carl Young. God bless you and may heaven smile upon each and every one of you.